finding the right balance between sort of structure and freedom is the key dimension that people don't need to get a better understanding of. And it shouldn't be seen as a dichotomy, but finding the right way to have the right, you know, mix between them to me is, is the most important thing. Yeah. Having taught some undergrad and graduate courses, typically undergrads will learn about constructionism or constructivism and they'll be like, oh, this is great. But then they'll take it to an extreme where they're like, okay, I need to avoid any form of direct instruction. And if somebody has a question, I can never answer it. I can only respond in questions, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like, no, 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 <laughs> there's moments for that. That reminds me of a story, you know, I'd helped start this network of after-school learning centers called Computer Clubhouses. It was started by my close colleague, Natalie Rusk, and I, was, I worked with Natalie on this. And we started with one clubhouse in Boston. Now there's a whole network of 100 clubhouses around the world. And the clubhouses are based on this approach to you know, learning, a creative approach with projects, passion, peers, and play. I remember one time visiting a clubhouse where there was a new mentor that was coming in. They rely on volunteer mentors to come in and support the young people coming into the clubhouses to work on creative projects. And the mentor came in and I think they were suggesting something like they enjoyed making different types of animated comic books. And they said, I'd be interested in running a workshop for kids. I could come in on Tuesdays and run workshops on animated comic books. And the coordinator of the clubhouse said, no, here at the clubhouse, we don't run workshops. We let kids do things that they want to work on. I said, no, that's exactly the wrong thing. Because I think it would be a problem if you said, everyone at the clubhouse must make an animated comic book, would not be good. But if this mentor wants to come in and do a, a workshop about animated comic books for kids who are interested in learning it, that's great. So just as you said, it's not a matter of just standing back and let the young people do whatever they want or only coming in when they have a question for you. It's fine to you know, interject things. The point is, it should be up to the young people to decide whether they're interested in doing that or not. This excerpt of the CSK8 podcast is from episode number 106, which is titled Lifelong Kindergarten with Mitch Resnick. 